All right, welcome back. So here we are, fully dry. Uh, these are actually cured. I've done a few paintings since these two. I can't believe how dark this one got. It looks totally, totally different from the actual pour itself. So this one we called Mayo Must Catch Up. <laughs> and then this one is the Three-Eyed Lemon. Do you guys see it? All right, I'm gonna show you how I made these. Let's do it. Okay guys, so here we go. Uh, colors for today are Quinacridone Magenta, um, Orange Metallic by Artist Loft, with Neon Orange by Artist Loft, and then of course I couldn't help myself but to put a squirt of the Orange Flash Color Shift. The yellow is Metallic Yellow with Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue, but uh, I also wanted it Metallic, so Here's where we're at with this. And then I have Artist Loft Flow White. My new mix, I eliminated the Liquitex pouring medium. And I went with, it's actually Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. It's her recipe that she's been using. But then of course, I always incorporate the Flow Aid into my mix now. So that kind of makes it my own in a way. But she's getting beautiful results. So I really like what she's doing and and I made this piece the other day which I'm extremely happy about so I don't know if I have the video up yet or not but it's coming I promise I will post the recipe right now You can use Elmer's glue all. Uh, I'm still using an archival glue by Lineco. Yay, meaning non-acidic. And it's a bookbinder's glue. So it basically was made to keep the pages of a book from deteriorating or yellowing over time. So it doesn't deteriorate or yellow. It's no, There's no proven fact as to what's going to happen to Elmer's glue all. Go brittle and flake. But I haven't seen it happen, and I haven't seen exactly when it would happen. So I don't know. So, I mean, I'm sure if you encased it in resin, it wouldn't matter. But I varnish a lot of my pieces. So if I'm going to sell it with, with resin, that's one thing. But if I'm going to varnish it, I'm going to make sure that I'm using archival components. The glue, gloss medium, and then the water flow aid mix. And I've been on this flow aid kick from day one. And the results are so much better. They keep, no matter what you do or, or what medium you add to your painting, it always stays vibrant. Every painting that I've had is just, you know, it's not dark, it's not muddled, it's it's nice, bright, and popping. So, so I've been using that the whole time. Silicone. Oh, and I also forgot. So, color shift. I took purple flash. And I mixed it with Prussian blue high flow acrylics. I did make a backup blue and I don't know if I'm going to use it yet. I still haven't made up my mind. This is metallic blue and by Artist Loft and Golden's, um, Golden's Prussian blue. And I like the way it looks. Um, so there's a lot here. Like I kind of... I put too much in the cup and then I added my medium and then before I knew it I had to add a lot of water and I'm like right to the tippy top. 
So my ratios, I was doing one part paint to two parts medium, but I noticed that my paint was starting to look faded. So I went back down to one part paint to one and a half part medium, but you can also do one part paint to one part medium as well. Let's do two drops in here. All right, same thing for the orange. Whoa, that came out really fast. And then the yellow, we'll also do two ounces. Or, you know what I mean, right? Two drops. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, four, five. Round. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about anything that I'm doing, feel free to ask. I have no problem answering your questions. And if for some reason I, you know, you don't see an answer from me within a day or so, you can always send me a message on Facebook. You can always hunt me down in our Art Addicts group. Um, you know, there's several ways you can find me. I'm going to do one cup, speed up the other two. I'm going to add just three. And I'm still messing with this cold, so if I sound like a fire-breathing dragon, once again, I apologize. I also have some gold that I forgot to mention too. I don't ever put silicone in my gold. Our white. Yeah, I know it's got some green in there. That's not much I can do about it either. A little gold. And then we'll roll right into the yellow. Orange. Pink. Some blue. Like that, a little more gold. Let's do some pink. Just gonna flip it. Okay, here we go.
worry about the corners. I can't help myself. I gotta do this. Okay. This looks extremely cell reactive, so. Wow. <laughs> Trying to get the bubbles right now. Okay. Here we go. grab over here. <laughs> I don't know if I can get those white 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 cells off. I don't think I can. Oh, oh well. I still love it. I think this is so pretty. Boom. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe how this one came out. This is really really nice. All right. Bring you guys into the close up, and it's a wrap. So, here we go. On to the next thanks for watching okay so welcome for round two let's get right to it so we're gonna let's do it dirty okay um, <laughs> sorry uh, this guy I just can't bring myself to loving him I mean there's certain parts in here that are pretty cool but overall it's just, it's got to go. So, same colors as before, except I am, I made some alizarin crimson, and I mixed the rest of the quinacridone magenta in here. I am not adding more silicone to this. I actually took a leftover orange, and I mixed it into there. So, now all I got to do is just stir in the silicone, because there's silicone in both colors of the orange. I made some more white. 
I have a little bit of gold left, but I have a backup if it's necessary. My yellow, I had to totally make more. I hope it should be all right. I hope it's not a lot of bubbles. I know there's going to be some bubbles, but I decided that we're going to do two dirty pours instead of the flip cups just to start switching things up a little bit because um, I was trying to just master my mix, you know, by just doing the flip cups. And now that I think I've got it, I'm ready to start going on to like different techniques and everything. Let's go like this, maybe, and come back around through. Get my corners. Okay. Wow. Look at that. It's coming up from the white. That is crazy. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. How am I going to do this? Let's go. Oh, I don't want to lose this right so, all right, let's, let's go to the bottom right here. Hopefully, when I get close, I'll grab my corner thingy, corner catcher. must have it. Center myself.
gosh, look at those cells, you guys. Maybe now I'll be able to stretch them a little, just a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to stop. Let me recenter myself and then just stop. I just think if I try any more, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> I am really happy with this one. This looks really cool. Wow. That yellow is just screaming out of the painting. <laughs> it's like... Tss, tss. Let's get you guys in for the close-up. And it is totally wrapped. I can't wait till this darkens when it dries. It almost looks like a lava lake or something. <laughs> And there you have it, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye.